get back into the swing of things. But uh, I think the most important thing is is that every player knows that uh, we're just committed to trying to help them be as successful as they can be as football players and make as much improvement as we can individually and collectively as a group as we possibly can. And um, you know, practice is really to create the repetition uh, to develop the kind of habits that you can go out and play well. Uh, and I think that's that's the what we want our players to understand, um, and that's what we're trying to do to help them uh, prepare for the season and do the work they need to do to uh, have success you know, individually and collectively. Uh, you know, obviously there's some things that you know we want to improve on. Uh, we have some goals and objectives and things that we'd like to improve on offensively, defensively, special teams that all come from the quality control that you did in the off season. So. Um, not many of those things can we address today. Not really many of those things can we address uh, that are beyond fundamentals until you know we sort of get a little further along in our installation of, of, of what we do. So uh, practice tempo I thought was good. Uh, I think the players have to develop the, the discipline to sustain so we finish practice, finish games, finish quarters, finish halves, you know, like we really uh, want to and need to. You know, Harrison Jones and Chad Lindsey uh, were not out there today. You know, both those guys are uh, guys that were 50-year guys who have graduated, uh, who have decided not, you know, to come back and play. Uh, and, uh, you know, we certainly appreciate, you know, the great job that they did when they were involved in the program and, um, you, know, uh, you know, wish them well. And, you know, they'll always be a part of what we've done here. And, uh, we certainly, you know, appreciate their efforts and contribution that they've had to the success of the program. You know, Jay Miller decided to focus on uh, academics and, and, and not come back and be a part of the team, uh, at least for right now. And uh, so those are the only guys that I think are, you know, anybody that you would have a question about. Uh, our Gloria Stewart, we are going to spend probably two or three days looking at him as a defensive back, uh, but this is very experimental, um, and we still think that, you know, we're just trying to sort of find out whether he could play safety or not. He's not been moved to defensive back. Um, this is a temporary, experimental, could you do it if we needed to type of circumstance. Um, anything else? Just asking about with, with, with CJ gone, what, what changes for Trey this year going into your senior year? What, what maybe are, are you anticipating from, from Trey to Priest? This year? Well, you know, Trey has a lot of experience. He's a very good player. Uh, we need his leadership on defense. Uh, he's obviously going to become the signal caller, uh, which I think everybody looks up to. So, uh, and he certainly has the knowledge and experience and maturity to affect other players in a positive way. And. Uh, I think that's something that will be important you know, to our defensive team that he not only contribute in terms of his physical performance and doing his job well, but how he affects everyone else. How far have you seen with Greg Stems coming in in terms of being a pro-style pro passer instead of just being more of a running quarterback? Well, he's got, you know, we, 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 you know, that's a work in progress for Blake, you know, and I thought he made significant progress last year. and. I think that that's one thing that we want to evaluate and know that he needs to progress in uh, is his ability to be a consistent, a more consistent passer, uh, you know, especially in you know the system that we implement now. Uh, so I think all of you know that uh, you know quarterback competition this spring is uh, something that a lot of people are going to get a lot of opportunity at. Uh, you know. Jacob is not going to be here in the spring, but certainly he's going to get opportunity when he gets here as well. So um, that, that, that's going to be um, the goal to develop each of our quarterbacks and see which one we feel would be uh, have the best opportunity to help us be successful next year. Last one, Brady. Hey, with the being coach of the quarterbacks, anything stand out to you today? I know you haven't watched the tape from any of the guys and. What are you looking for that group to show you over the next 15 practices? 
Well, I, I think I just what I just said is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for the guy who, you know, success is defined by consistency and performance. All right, so who can be the most consistent guy doing his job well at that position? All right now, that's a critical position because that guy makes it just you know, distributes the ball to somebody every now and whether he hands it to him, throws it to him, uh, and the choices and decisions that they have to make, you know, go a long way in uh, how effective and efficient your offense runs. So which guys can develop in the guys that can actually execute and do that on the most consistent basis? It's all about playing winning football. And that's something that you can evaluate in practice uh, every day. And I, I, I think that, you know, a lot of our guys that we have have ability. They don't have a lot of experience. Uh, and it'll be a work in progress all spring to see how they develop. And uh, I'm sure when we have scrimmages, you know, maybe some of the guys that practice well may struggle a little more. Some of the other guys may play a little better in the scrimmage. So it's, it's going to be a long time uh, in us, you know, developing those players, uh, not being so quick to criticize or quick, quick to try to make a judgment or decision on any one particular player, but continue to have the p patience to try to develop those guys into the kind of guys that can play winning football for us. All right.